Hey, what's up, movie fans? I just finished watching Crimson Peak, a film from 2015 from director Gilmaro Del Toro. And this guy is a visionary director, and he did it again. He delivered a really, really cool movie. Um, a lot of people think when they when they think of Gilmaro Del Toro as maybe a horror, like auteur kind of thing, but no, he's he does have elements of horror in his films, but these are more of a fantasy fairy tale an adult fairy tale uh, that have implements of horror. Um, Mia Wazakowski, I'm probably saying her name wrong, I do apologize, uh, stars as um, a, a girl who has kind of been haunted her entire life. Um, after the death of her mother, she's been raised by her father who is very, very well to do, um, and he's the decision maker in their, their, their town. Um, when it all goes up in the air when uh, Tom Hiddleston and Jessica Chastain's characters come into town and she falls for him. Uh, without giving too many spoilers, this is basically the love of her life. And within days, she knows that this is the guy. Um, and they have a very unique dynamic, um, like this, this, this triangle right here. Um, Jessica Chastain and her brother, um, played by Tom Hiddleston, they have another interesting dynamic right there, without giving spoilers, and the the meat of the film is around these three characters. Charlie Hunman um, portrays a doctor uh, who is, uh, you know, here and there. He's in the middle of the film and at the end of the movie, uh, and he's he's there. He's a good... It's very interesting to see him uh, in this performance because he's so synonymous with uh, Jax from Sons of Anarchy. But um, anyway, Mia is a really, really good actress. I see so much potential in her uh, coming up through the ranks. Jessica Chastain, uh, man, she she puts it all in her performance. I mean, she's a show stealer. Um, let me talk about the filmmaking, the CG, uh, I, I think it's it's done masterfully. He doesn't use these incredibly, like, obtuse jump shots and all this stuff that a lot of directors do. I love his subtle, slow style, tension building. That's what I'm into, and I think he did a phenomenal job, as usual, in this. I can't believe I missed this in the theaters, but I did. Um, I, it's one of the few I've actually missed of his in the theater. So I think it's done really well. Some of the CG, I mean, I don't know if it's a budget issue or anything, but some of the the effects, the creatures, uh, kind of could have been done a little bit better in my opinion. I'm not saying they were terrible or anything, but it didn't do the justice uh, that I think it could have been. I think it was maybe budgetary reasons. I love a lot of the locations, the... Um, the fields, the snow, um, the basement. I don't really give anything away in the basement, but the the pink, lavender type color, like uh, spectrum is is really cool. Uh, I'd love to know what you guys think of this movie. Um, I just reviewed his Shape of Water the other day. I hope you guys check that one out. Click on my username, London Hawthorne. You'll see all my other movie reviews. I have hundreds and hundreds of them. I love talking about movies, so I hope you do too. Leave a comment. What's your favorite Gilmar Del Toro film? Uh, what's your least favorite? If you have any recommendations for movies to watch, to check out, to avoid? Let me know. Have a great day.